Mouse Trouble News fans, you know what I have always felt that the public transportation system needed? A hundred percent more Stalin. Well, at least one country agrees with me. Right now, in Russia, we are coming up to the anniversary of Victory Day, May 9, which is the anniversary of the day that the Nazis gave in to the Soviet Army and the Soviet Army crushed their ass like the little bitches that they are. Now, in order to celebrate this and acknowledge it, the government in Russia has started putting pictures of Stalin on the sides of buses. And they look really badass. Now, unfortunately, the reactionaries in the country are screaming. The people touting the lies against Stalin and that uh, he killed more people than actually existed in the country and uh, just, just the usual BS that we have to put up with. Now they're screaming their reactionary heads off, saying this shouldn't happen. It's a, it's a rewriting of history and trying to portray Stalin as something he wasn't. Well, excuse me, says I. He kind of did lead the country through its, well, its darkest hour. Even darker than that of the Tsarist times. I mean, let's face it, the Soviet Union was almost destroyed. And after all, the Soviets did do most of the fighting in the actual war, and were the ones who actually really did beat the Nazi army, while the rest of the Allies were sitting there waiting for the Soviet Union to get destroyed before they would jump in. Russia turns around, the Soviet Union turns around, starts kicking, every, starts kicking everybody's ass, and starts pushing back against the Nazis. And then the Allies jump in and like, oh, well, we, we better get in there now before it's too late. Well, I mean, Stalin did kind of lead the country through this dark time. Uh, he kind of did do a lot of the work, some of the, I'm not even sure how much, in terms of the military planning that actually defeated the Nazi Empire. So... I mean, come on, you gotta give the guy credit. I mean, he did do all of this. But no, 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 these, these are reactionary little screaming people. Like, no, Stone, this evil, horrible human being that killed a hundred million people and, and all these other totally insane remarks. I love these buses. These buses look awesome. I wish I could ride some of these buses. Now, in the past, say, uh, last year, uh, they tried to do a similar thing, and some areas accepted that Stalin was going to be on the bus and thought it was great or were completely indifferent. Now, some cities, uh, Moscow, Riga, Tallinn, blocked it and said that they, did not want, that they did not want these buses with Stalin's image on it, even though it's really just an overlay put over the side of the bus itself. But... Uh, this has become a, a quite a serious contentious issue in Russia and uh, it's one of those very polarizing issues where you're either for it or you're against it and there's been a lot of uh, debate and a lot of vitriol and anger in Russian society over this but as a, as a, as a Westerner, someone who's not Russian and doesn't live in Russia I say those buses look absolutely badass and I wish I had one so to you my subscribers Everyone aboard the Stalin bus.